Glover 228. Okay. Now I'm Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly, and in ordinal equivalence in English Noahide Gematria, Daniel adds up to 45, and if you go through the rest of my surname, names, middle names, and surname, it adds up to 228 also. So this is Blaver 228, and my name, Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly, adds up to 228. So there you go. Right, now, um, here we go. Now, what do I affirm? Genesis chapter 9, verses 1 to 17. And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. The fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every bird of the air, upon everything that creeps on the ground, and all the fish of the sea. Into your hand they are delivered. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. And as I gave you the green plants, I give you everything. And you shall not eat flesh of its life, that is its blood. For your life but I will surely require a reckoning. Of every beast I will require it. And of man, of every man's brother I will require the life of man. Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed. For God made man in his own image. And you, be fruitful and multiply, bring forth a bundle on the earth and multiply in it. Then God said to Noah and to his sons with him, Behold, I establish my covenant with you, and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that is with you, the birds, the cattle, and every beast of the earth with you, as many as come out of the ark. I establish my covenant with you, that never again shall all flesh be cut up by the waters of the flood, and never again shall be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, This is the sign of the covenant which I make between me and you, and you and every living creature that is with you for all future generations. I send my bow, bow in the cloud, and it shall be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth, and the bow is seen of the clouds, I remember my covenant which is between me and you, and every living creature of all flesh, and water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. When the bow is in the clouds, I look upon and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. God said to Noah, This is a sign of the covenant which is established for me, and all flesh is upon the earth. Okay, now I found that. Now what it is, is that, as I've said, you know, these are representations of the Creator, and that's what they are. They're representations of the Creator. And it's religion for religious people. And, um, real people in the real world get on with their lives and don't worry about that. But there's something which is true about that, that they're actually representations of the religious people. Um, sort of like an affirmation. And uh, it's a system. And uh, it's honoured. It's a, the, the code book as a law book, the biblical law code book, is honoured as their system. And the Creator honours that because that's how he represented it for them. So the, the covenant is honoured and it's represented for them partake of the covenant and for Yahweh that's represented for the Israelite people to partake of that because that's their spiritual food religion is for religious people you see they're supposed to have it it gives them the kind of frills they need Faith is on a day. And your prayers in the religious sense, they become legally contracted prayers to the, uh, the, the deity of your religion. And the only true deity is the biblical deity for religion. So that's where the structure of religious spiritual work 
in terms of your prayers will be accomplished. Within religion. That's why if you need prayers answered from God, probably best to be religious for a while and accomplish some structure of legal behavior in your civilization. So it's all about the structure and the civilized code. It's all about that. It's about law and order, orderliness. Now, when you've worked out what's going on, then you get to make your uh, your your opinion and your value judgment. When you've worked out that God's just in religion for people to be religious, when you start to work out that um, you don't need that, then you go off to your own world, and then you're free. <laughs> Do what you want. Have some fun. Now, he wants to point out that the religion was to teach you some lessons about some good behavior. <coughs> good behavior. But when you go off and you, you realize that, and you start becoming wiser than God in your own eyes, and, uh, realize that's just religion, or God can't tell what to do. You can go blow and do what I want. And uh, live your life on your own terms, which is all well and good. Normally you'll mature. The thing is though, with a creator, when you've realized that the religion is just his way of controlling, and that it's just religion, and that you're standing on your own t on two feet in the world, you realize that if, if you want to choose evil, well, the Creator has generally uh, established this religion code just as a witness. And uh, it's like, uh, okay, uh, so you, okay, there you go. But you're wiser than that, you see. Well, it's just religion to control. So you've gone off to do your own thing, and why don't you choose these options? These evil options and delight in that. Well, it'll be your undoing in the end anyway. To cut a long story short. But you wrote that, but you're three and you can do what you want. Now, there's a warning for that that I'll give you. And this is the warning. It's not a religious warning. It's not a religious warning. It's about the facts of human society and planet Earth the natural consequences of your choices and actions. Things happen. Things happen. See, if you, if you go off and choose your evil, things can happen. You can find out that people don't really give a shit about uh, your reputation necessarily. But things can happen with what they'll actually do. People will react to you in a certain way, with what you do. And you can't really control the reactions ultimately. They form their own opinions. And if you go looking for trouble, let me damn well you'll find a 